Hey guys, and welcome back to Comic Review 47. Today we'll be talking about Eobard Thawne, also known as the Reverse Flash, also known as Professor Zoom. Eobard Thawne is only one of the several Reverse Flashes that exist in DC continuity. He first appeared in The Flash number 139 back in 1963. This was in the Silver Age of Comics when Barry Allen had been around as a new Flash back then. In this issue, a man named Dr. Walter Drake managed to send a time capsule into the future. Unfortunately, an atomic clock that was in the time capsule has been turned into an atomic bomb due to the shift in time. Flash must go into the future with his cosmic treadmill in order to fix this problem. Meanwhile, the time capsule crash landed into the 25th century, or to be more precise, in the year 2463. Thawne manages to steal Flash's suit from the capsule. He uses the wave patterns on the suit mixed with some chemicals to effectively grant him the same powers as the Flash. He uses a newly acquired speed to snatch silver prizes structures. Flash saw this on a newspaper and tried to catch Professor Zoom and failed. He eventually defeated Zoom by wearing out the chemicals in his suit until Zoom no longer had super speed. Now of course this wasn't the end of the reverse Flash. He was later turned into a darker character. He actually killed Iris West, Barry Allen's love interest in the comics. Later on, his origin story was expanded in The Flash Volume 2, number 79, when Thawne was going against Wally West, the third incarnation of The Flash. Hubert Thawne had been fascinated by the heroic age of the 20th century, but he was mostly interested in Barry Allen, the second Flash. He respected him for giving his life in order to save others. He was so obsessed about Barry that he knew everything about him by reading a definitive biography about him from the 20th century. Thawne wanted to be just like Barry, so he used a futuristic plastic surgery machine called the Plastomorph. He then painfully granted himself with the Flash's power and stole Barry Allen's cosmic treadmill to travel back in time. His plan failed, however, and he traveled back to when Barry Allen had already died years before in the events of Crisis on Infinite Earths. Thawne then went on to see a museum on the Flash and was horrified to see that he was destined to become Flash's enemy and forcefully killed. This drove Thawne insane and he hated Barry ever since. Now going back into what I was saying about Professor Zoom being a darker character, this occurred during the Flash Rebirth storyline in June of 2009. This storyline introduces Flash back into DC's continuity, but more importantly it reveals to us a lot more on Professor Zoom. Thawne was the one that had made Barry's life disastrous as a child and was the one to kill his mom. Professor Zoom also created the negative Speed Forge, which allows him to travel through time with less limits than all the flashes. The reverse flash can also drag the flash into the negative Speed Force and give him a much greater advantage over him. Before I continue, I wanted to say that if this is too confusing, then read the comics for yourself to get a better understanding of things. Anyways, in Flashpoint, Eobard Thawne's reverse speed force has been further explained. In this storyline, Barry Allen decides to stop his mother's death by going back in time. Unfortunately, this had disastrous consequences. Barry made it so that he would never was the Flash and also created a shockwave of sorts in time. Since Barry is more limited with the speed force and time traveling than Eobard Thawne, this actually granted Thawne more power. Thawne now existed outside of the timeline. This means that he can kill Barry Allen Flash. Thomas Wayne, the Batman of this distorted timeline, killed Thawne with a sword while he was busy blabbering to the Flash. After this apparent death, he wasn't seen again until a DCU started and he appeared in issues 41 to 47. We find out that Thawne isn't fast, but rather slows down time to make him seem faster. We also see Earbird as a genius and a master of manipulation. Flash sorts Thawne by figuring out how he goes so fast and sends him to jail. He appears yet again in the DC Universe The Flash number 1 one-shot in 2016. This is not to be confused with the Flash Rebirth title in 2009 that I mentioned earlier. He appears as a vision with the Flash Barry Allen yelling, not again, to Professor Zoom. Professor Zoom aka Reverse Flash has appeared in various media throughout the years. So. What do you say? One last dance?
most notably in the Flash TV series season one. What do you guys think of Earbird Thon? Would you consider him to be the best villain of all time or the smartest? Leave a comment and be sure to like, subscribe for more comic book videos, and I'll see you guys next time.